And welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Paintbrush Paints Daytona 500 for KMR. This is stage two of three stages. Sloppy and the Deuce was our stage one winner. And uh, so far, yours truly has been DNF along with two others' cars, the 48 and the 42. And so now we get a chance to ride along with the field let's check in with uh fractured chain in the double deuce decides to sign with the double deuce and stay with the group looking good riding in line as this stage prepares to conclude as you can see 10 less than 10 laps to go in stage two now each stage is points for each individual driver that finishes we see we got a group on the high side a group on the low side is two by two for the lead coming to the towards the end of this stage and the two finishers that were up for towards the front last stage are the ones that are up toward the front this stage as well. It is a nice little group up front. Things are getting racy. And it is so nice to see what is going on in this stage. And KMR, that's right, KMR back in action here. This is the Daytona 500 again brought to you by Paintbrush Paints. I am alone in the booth as of right now. And, um, you know, looking forward to bringing you everything. Fracture Chain running this six right now, as you see on your screen, and there's changes all over the place. One thing that hasn't changed too much, Vogel Elliott does his pooch, has returned again to KMR. He's going to run the full schedule and is running with Hendrick Motorsports and is hoping to lock himself in full time uh, to the series. And, um, with this race someone else who's returned let's hop on board with jab in the 20 for joe gibbs racing that's right rookie sensation coming back for his pro year after winning the title leaving for a season he's back and uh back in action here today so we'll get a chance to ride along as you see double foul speedy hungry for that stage win and pole for the final stage here at daytona on board the 20. Oh, and here we go. Oh, you see boot. Oh, no. He spins ghost. He spun ghost. No. And there's spinning in the back, guys. 19 to 25. We might have a caution. And you saw right there on board and let's see if we got anybody torn to shreds here um uh let's go back in the pack um man what a tough hit there uh she got underneath ghost and let's look at what's going on here that looks like ender james she's good got some uh, cars that have pitted let's see dunker who has returned to the series came in through the qualifier just pitted and repaired some damage uh, on that ride, Ender James last place. Ghost Train, okay as well. He just came out of pit road, and he is going to continue on in this series as well. So, man, a lot going on, and um, field under caution as of right now. On board, lone paintbrush in that paintbrush paints 500 car, and uh, I'm sad to see his teammate in action, Cookie wrecked out but happy uh to be remaining there and uh still running in the series so far 19 of 25 laps so it'll be lap 22 of 25 when we go back green flag racing guess what that means that's right no more cautions have a lot to broadcast let's talk about some drivers that you would not expect here let's start from the end and move up that that you saw just get involved in the wreck it was big questions as to whether ghost train would return to the series our series uh former series champion uh back and in a new ride in the 25 for hendrick motorsports that charter is still with him 
or uh, with Hendrick Motorsports and he chose to drive that 25 and uh, was doing really really well up to that spin was riding in the top five has been in the top five all day as a matter of fact the last stage he finished in the top 10 in eighth after an awesome shuffling and passing going on in the last couple laps very exciting stuff and so um, he's gonna have to restart in the back um, how about someone else returning to the series after a long absence? Another champion in Dunko is making things very competitive in the 16 rider. This is his first ride in an FM6 car. So he is adjusting or trying to adjust very much to how these cars feel and how they, how they um, feel, what tuning he needs to do to get these cars to ride well. He needs to do it in a hurry because those road courses will start pouring in as the season progresses a lot of what goes on is going to depend on how well he does in these road courses in a new whip for this season before a new team is all guns we talked about that earlier on in the year and all guns riding in the nine car for rpm now his uh, assistant or rather his uh, companion for RPM in the 43 car did not show for this race. However, he is locked into the series, uh, so he will be joining very shortly. In the meantime, the nine car representing RPM doing really well. Stage one, he finished seventh and is looking for another good finish. He's right now finishing or in sixth place as they prepare to go back green flag racing. Talked a little bit about Jab before, another series champion, and he's returning. Uh, whether he'll return to a full-time or part-time schedule is still up for debate. Don't know, but right now, preliminary deal. Of course, he is a hot seat driver. He is not a full-time driver. He is not locked into the series, but you know what? If he were to win the Daytona 500, he then would be locked in after the final three races or the next three races set up for next week he would be locked in from that point moving forward right now though he is only a hot seat and looking hot in that seat if you will preparing to go and take the green flag for the final time in this stage and then our race leader Vogel Elliott ran before and uh, almost won rookie of the year but only ran a short part of the schedule and then left he is uh, stated that he will run full time and he is with Hendrick Motorsports, making Hendrick Motorsports a very formidable opponent, especially at FM6. Now, what does he have for the M15 charter? We'll have to see. When we go for the line, three laps to go in KMR Paintbrush Paints 500, that's stage two. The next stage featuring 50 laps. Let's see what happens. Will we have a big one? Will everyone play nice? Green flag is back in the air. And a caution. And uh, he's okay, just a little transmission damage. Well, boy, was that scary for him uh, in this. Now, I did say that pit road would uh, be closed and that we were going three laps to go, but that's actually not the case, it's four laps. Three laps to go will be lap 23 because lap 25 is a whole lap. So pit road is no doubt open uh, for this time by, which brings us to none other than a white flag shootout. As Speedy treks down pit road. Wow, what a scary feeling for him. And almost something to add to the DNF trip here. right along with the dunk He's driving that 16 for Roush Racing and uh, looking good
someone we haven't talked about much uh, so far in this 500. Uh, well, I hadn't done much talking at all because I've been racing up until my DNF. But Fractured Chain, look where he got himself to. This is someone who, through all his years of racing KMR, has never, ever won the Daytona 500. One of the only races he has never won in KMR. Think about how it will feel to lead this stage and have the uh, the pole for the final stage in here at Daytona. It would mean the world to him. Well, at least the electronic world. He's beside arguably one of the best rookie Daytona racers in KMR, who has certainly ran well all race long, has led a ton of laps so far, so far and looks to lead even more. They are double file. They're headed to the line. It'll be two to go. Two to go when they get to the line. Fractured chain versus poops. Let's watch. Green flag. We got some wrecking in the back, guys. Wrecking in the back. Nothing damaged there. Oh, no. Speedy involved in that scrimmage, evidently. He is slower on the track. No damage, though, at all. Car looks good. And how about Speed B, uh, who is trying to get back up there? No damage whatsoever. Let's get you back out to the league. It is Pooch in the five. Coming to the white flag. And you see someone step out. That looks like the three alone paintbrush stepping out there, looking to try to get something going on. Dives back down low behind Pooch. We've got a line. Pooch, paintbrush, Swift. Your top three, the Swift go high? No. In the meantime, it looks like all guns got a little loose coming out of the corner. Wisely backs out. He's going to spend some time down there in the back of the field and here comes the three looking to step out he's got to do something coming to this last bit on the stage 31 25 is their fractured chain hung out the dry he's all the way back there in sixth place and it looks like pooch is going to pick up his first stage win he does stage winner five car That was it for stage two. Uh, we're gonna look ahead to stage three in a little while. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you later.